All right, guys. I'm about to take you. Josh, Langston, and Pete, who ain't made it here yet, always late. We're about to go eat. And I'm going to take you with me. Let's get it. Hey, city lady, watch for Macho Margarita in a second hour. It's time, baby. Let's go. You gotta put a little red pepper on the pizza. Give it a little kick. It brings out the flavor. Don't forget the foot. They do the crust the right way. Now I'm gonna try the San Gennaro. It's got some peppers on it. It's got some sausage on it. Some onions, it looks like. Let's see what this is about. Throw a little foot on it, a little cheese. Call out the foot. The San Gennaro. Tastes like September 9th in New York. The sausage is good Italian sausage. It's fresh, it's good. The peppers are just perfect. The crust, look at that. Look how beautiful that crust looks. This is good pizza, guys. This is, this is how you do pizza. So I'm not sure exactly which one this is, but it's got a uh, sausage, red onions, or uh, red peppers, onions. This is delicious. Um, I've had a lot of pizza. I love pizza. This is one of the best pizzas I've ever had. Basil cheese and tomato. So Josh is preparing his margarita pizza. I say it tastes fresh in your mouth. It might actually be my favorite one. I'm going to see what... Joe was just saying that this is his fa favorite one. So if this is the best pizza place in Detroit, and this is the best pizza from the best pizza place in Detroit, this has got to be the best pizza. That's a serious breakdown That's a right serious there. breakdown. Here we go. Crispy, perfectly cooked. Look at this. This is amazing. You don't get this. Come here. Yes, this place. Right, right, green fire. That's good, man. It's good. What's your favorite one so far? Oh man, I haven't even gotten to it. But I will say the San Gennaro was really good. City Wing thing. Talk to me about it. Tell me what's up. Hey! Here it is, the motto. Hey! You're in the city. You need to come get a city wing. It is incredible. Perfectly crisp crust. Delicious tender chicken. The peppers that set the whole thing off. My God. Heaven on a pizza tree. In other words, what he's saying is, forget about it. Huh? Forget about it. Come to Sapinos, eat the pizza and forget. No, eat it, the pizza and forget about it. Huh? All right, guys, that was Sapinos in Detroit, Eastern Market. Best pizza in the city, baby. What you guys think? Hey, Portobello. Manja, manja. <laughs> Eat the pizza. What's going on everybody? It's Joe Gentle with Trend Trading Academy. I'm here to help you trade and get paid. You know, trade and get paid, baby. Hey, so check this out. We did a live session, live trade session with the TTA fam this past week. And sometimes in those live trade sessions, you know, the market just kind of slows down. And, uh, you know, maybe like there's certain times when we're, you know, just kind of waiting, right? We've, we've done our markups. We've like, uh, you know, done our analysis and now we're just waiting for breakouts, um, things like that, right? So sometimes during those downtimes, the students have questions, you know, the TTA fam, they ask questions and we try our best to answer those questions. And uh, 
one of the questions that came up, I'm going to answer today, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to take that little clip and I'm going to share it with YouTube because I think that YouTube has asked me this question a lot as well. All right, so if this video brings you value, guys, I want you to smash that like button. Comment below if you want to see more kind of content like this, and I want you to hit that bell, get notified every time I drop content so you don't miss out on anything. And if you want to see more content like, you know, my little food journeys, my food excursions, you man, you guys know I love Detroit got great food, man. And uh, you know, Sapino's the best pizza around. But that ain't it. There's a lot of other food. Y'all might want to check it out. So if you want to see that, comment below. And uh, for now, guys, let's get to this video where we're going to talk about scaling in to trades and how that works. Let's get it. Um, so what I mean with you know, scaling in and scaling out on um, on the GA. Uh, <clears throat> so, so first off, let me say it this way, um, just to kind of clarify what I was saying earlier. Right? We do we do our analysis. Um, well, I do. I mean, I, I think Robert's pretty similar. Um, I do my analysis for scalping, starting at the four hour chart. I confirm on the one hour chart. I find breakouts on a 30 minute chart and I find retests on the 15 minute chart. That's how I do top down analysis. Now, why is that? Well, because in order for something to happen on the thir on the 30 oh, in order for something to happen on the 30, it would need to first happen on the 15. So if the breakout on the 15 does not look good, then I'd be waiting for, you know, let's show, here, let me, let me kind of give an example. If the 15 minute chart breakout doesn't look good, right? That means that when the 30 minute closes there, the likelihood is that it's probably going to be pulling back on the 15 minute chart. So that 30 minute chart or that 30 minute candle will close as the 15 is pulling back. And so the 30 minute will have a small wick on it. Kind of like what Robert's beautiful candles from earlier. Those were dope. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, so the 15 minute retest will be a small wick on the 30. And that would be an, a nice entry. So 15 minute fulfills before 30. Well, 30 then fulfills before one hour and then four hours. So what I mean is if we're going to find entry on the small time frame, Okay. And then if we know that the four hours, so look in the case of what we're actually looking at right now, right? We see this, we have, you know, this, this type of looking thing right here. And it's looking like this on the, on the 30 minute. However, on the four hour, that doesn't look like that on the four hour, it's downside movement with a very short upside right here. So we would be looking for another push down right here. So if we know that, where ex our expectation is that and the one hour is already showing divergence the 30 minute chart is already showing us a standstill okay and we don't have any action really on the 15 minute chart it's just a standstill so what we would what we would anticipate is if we can get a breakout okay we can get a breakout here on the 30 potentially a retest here on the 15 if that's you know depending on how it, how slow the breakout happens if that ends up happening there, what we're going to end up seeing is we enter the trade, we get in, and we look for structure along the way. We have a nice stop loss. We get in, and as we start to take profit, we take our stop loss, and we simply move it past this level of structure. We would move it, move it past here once we were into profit. And now we have a, a risk-free trade. If for some reason, we, you know, let's say we secured eight pips. If for some reason this turns right back around and stops us out, who cares? We got eight pips, right? So we're happy. But however, if it keeps the, if it keeps pushing, let me get that other one pulled back in. Right? If it keeps pushing, right? Well, what's going to happen is what? I'm going to continue to move my stop loss into profit i'm going to wait for that little pullback break move my stop loss so i have no risk there and now i've secured even more of the bag right 
And so I'm going to, and what does that mean? Well, while this is happening on the 30 minute chart, what are we seeing? What we're actually seeing is probably just the initial breakout on the four hour, right? If that's all happening on the 30 minute chart, we're really, what we're seeing is, uh, man, my, I'm sloppy tonight. What we're really seeing is just a breakout of that little pullback, that inner trend line. We're just seeing a small breakout right there. So what all of that movement, all of that that we looked at and how we profited from is really just the beginning of a breakout on the 40 minute or on the four hour. I mean, I said 40 minute. I don't know where that came from. But it, if we get that breakout on the four hour, well, what would we be expecting at this level here? That's where it's going to really pick up momentum. Yes, we got the breakout. We scalped it on the 30 from here. But at this level, when that level breaks, that's when momentum happens for the real push down. And at that point, you know, we're no longer scalping. Now we're, let, we're letting a runner run. You know, that's, that's what we're doing. We've caught the breakout. We scalped it. We secured the bag. So essentially, we've, we've, what I meant by scaling out, we've scaled the trade. And then we use the momentum of the four-hour chart to let our 30-minute runner run. Does that make sense? Because as this pushes out like this, this is just going to run. And so we're just going to secure the bag all the way down. All right, guys, there you have it. I hope this brought you value. You got to kind of see inside of the live trade session and you kind of get to see, you know, um, like basically the people asking questions and me answering the questions. Robert was on with me and we were just really had a great time. Great live trade session. Uh, we were on through London. It was dope. Um, so I hope this helped you out. You know, we talked about scaling, how to scale in and out of trades and um, basically moving your stop loss and, you know, just certain things that we, you know, that are going to help you to have um, protect your downside. Not only that, but also to secure the bag along the way. That's what this is about, right? It's about securing the bag and putting the money in the bank. You know, we don't want to leave it out there uh, for the broker to come and take it back, for the market to come and snatch you out, right? So we want to secure the bag along the way and this is how we do it, all right? So if you want to be in the next live trade session and not like miss out anymore, like don't wait for me to post clips on YouTube. Go ahead and get on Trend Trading Academy. Go, the link's in the description, click it, join us. And don't miss out on any more because we're bringing straight heat out here. Winning, the trade setups are hitting. And man, I'm telling you, students are eating. The team is winning together, all right? So let's make this money together. And if you want to see more value, I want you to watch that video over there. That's going to help you because what it's going to do for you is it's going to bring some things together for you, right? Really, that's what we're trying to do is bring things together so that you can have a good, clear understanding of how to approach the markets. I'll see you in the next video.